understanding of the dangers of these plastics and microplastics getting into your body too. It's, it's just so weird that we've developed this entire society based on this petrochemical pl- product that ultimately gets into your body and has negative effects. So the, the microplastics is, are possibly a, a, an issue. It's not quite clear yet whether they are, but that's a concern and that's certainly something we should look at. But also remember, pretty much everything else that you have with plastics is incredibly useful. Right, it packages True. which actually reduces loss of pretty much anything you can think of dramatically. And of course, through COVID, we realized it's a really good thing to have one use plastic stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, so again, most things in the real world are both a problem and a benefit. And we need to find out how do we make it more of a benefit and less of a problem. But we need to stop having this conversation, oh, you can't have anything of this, you know, this bad thing. Uh, that's not how we organize our societies. That's not how we think. And that's certainly not how we make good choices. That makes sense. But if we know that there are, are alternatives to plastic and we know that there's so many different problems with plastic it being non-biodegradable unless it's like there's some – isn't there yep. some plastic yep. that they can make with like uh, plant fiber that's yep. biodegradable? Yep. Um, the, then, then there's the phthalate thing. You know, I'm, I'm sure you're probably aware of this. Uh, Dr. Shanna Swan, she, do you know? Do you know this whole uh, thing the, about what, what's happening to when women are pregnant and their bodies uh, have levels of phthalates above a certain level? It uh, has an effect on the reproductive cycle of the child, and uh, they can do studies in in mammals, and they show that when the female is pregnant and she encounters these chemicals from plastics it fucks with the 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 gender of the child like where um their taints Mm. shrink which is weird but in in mammals apparently that's a representation of like whether or not it's a male or it's like best one of the best distinctions ways distinguishing whether it's a male or female is the size of the taint when it's a baby because the male taint is 50 to 100 percent larger than the female taint She's hilarious. She's like, she's got a like really funny thing on her uh, Instagram about because uh, it also causes a de- decline in sperm production. Yeah. And so her way of approaching it that's funny is she has the jizz quiz and she does this. Thing. She's like this yeah, yeah, adorable yeah. like petite lady who is a, a brilliant doctor, but she's she's kind of being funny. And at the same time, like sounding the warning shot, like, hey, this is fucking with human beings reproductive cycles. Hmm. And since the invention of uh, petrochemical plastics that we use in basically everything from that point to today, there's a very clear drop in fertility rates, a very clear drop in male sperm count, a very clear drop in penis and testicle size. And with females, there's higher uh, rates of miscarriages. And she believes through her research that the, this is connected hmm. and that these chemicals that we're getting from our, these plastics are literally affecting the development cycle of human babies. Yeah. And, and look, I've, I've, I've done some work on this. Uh, so and the thing you have to worry about. So we should definitely be concerned about that. That sounds things. like and, a and, giant and, issue. And, and we, we should certainly be looking <laughs> at it. Uh, the best data, as I understand this, is uh, the fact that that sperm counts have gone down dramatically uh, over the last uh, 30 to 40 years. Uh, but, you haven't looked but, at the taints? Well, well there's a no, I big, big time taint study. <laughs> uh, yes, sorry. Uh, and, and what it turns out, of course, is uh, that uh, you tell people that they have to abstain for a week or four days or a week. I can't remember. And that's potentially possible that people would do in the 50s. It's very unlikely it happens today. And we know so that So you think pe- more people jerk off now? Yeah, and that's why the, that's an interesting perspective. So, so I bet the, you're right. The, the, Hold on a second. Now I'm on team. <laughs> now I'm on Team Bjorn. Well, again, that makes again, sense. The, the, the point is not that we shouldn't be concerned about issues and that we should be investigating things. But you also got to remember, our civilization is actually really, really good at making sure that we are concerned about all the different things. And how do we know? Because we live much longer. This is one of the things I think uh, you know almost everyone forgets. In 1900, the average life expectancy on planet Earth was 32 years. Last year, it was 74 years. Right, but you know why and it was 32 years, right? It was to infant a large mortality. extent. It was infant mortality, about three quarters. But what's happening is still that it goes up. So this is a fantastic statistic. Sure. You're going to be surprised about this. So even in rich countries, it goes up for every year you live. It goes up three more months. So for every four years, you actually become 
uh, you get one more year in life expectancy. You could so be young Jamie not, forever. <laughs> kind of. You're, you're going to run out of runway eventually. <laughs> but, but the point here is that we're actually really good at doing these things. And yes, we should still be concerned. One of the reasons why we're good at it is because we're good at being concerned. But we should not be so scared that we end up thinking, oh, my God, you know, all these things are going on. Well, I don't wrong. think people are necessarily scared, but they should – I think they should be concerned, and I think we should recognize when things are detrimental to human health. Yeah. You know, like the plastics thing. Like, the, the, to just to dismiss that and go, well, everything's better than it was before, and you live longer. Right, but it might, like, literally be affecting the way human beings yeah. develop in a negative way. And who knows what – I mean, th right now they're looking at sexual side effects. What kind of cognitive improve or uh, cognitive impairment side effects mm -hmm. does it have? Yeah. What kind of – I mean – who the fuck knows? Yeah, and, and we had a very good example of that with uh, lead that yes, we added to, uh, to gasoline. And that was a terrible idea. Please uh, explain the story behind that because it's really bananas. So the, the fundamental thing is it makes your gasoline run a little better. Uh, so you added this lead uh, to all cars. Uh, and well, it stops your car from knocking. Yeah. Yeah, and those old engines like bang, 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 bang. And they didn't do it quite as much. I love the sound effects. Please. Those old, you ever yeah. see those old shitty cars? Man, they were fucking, it was like guns were going off. Yeah. And, 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 you know, and it just had that huge side effect that actually makes us all dumber. Yeah, the whole uh, and, population. Yeah. Giant yeah. populations of cities lost many percentage points of IQ. Yeah, so, IQ. so like uh, uh, three to five IQ points. That's nuts. Uh, yeah. 5%. Yeah. Yeah. Just so your car could run smoother. <laughs> and, and, and this again. Yeah, you know, it shows because oh. we all remember. I don't know, uh, thalidomide. Uh, the the idea that you were thalidomide. Giving, yeah. Thalidomide. Sorry, I, yeah. I, I I just read these words. I don't actually. Oh, uh, you say never them. heard thalidomide baby before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Story. Yes, terrible. and 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 the point is, there are these terrible stories, and they're sign markers to tell us we should be careful. But again, I also just want to come back to realizing that when you look at the whole picture. We're actually doing amazingly much better. Remember, at the same time, sure. while we lost these five IQ points, what we see now in IQ development is that kids are getting smarter and smarter, probably because you get better food, uh, you get better childhood, you get better education, you get more stimulated.